I'm Blake. Hi, I'm Garrett. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Bridget. And I'm Ronnie. And we are a part of the Knox 2020 Most Influential Weddings. Hey friends, Lewis again, and I'm still in my overalls, so you know what we're doing. Today we're going to be chatting with the Knox Most Influential Weddings crew about their journeys down the aisle, their wedding vision, and looking back at the journey to marriage equality. As we kind of look back, this year is the five-year anniversary of when marriage equality became the law of the land. How do you feel looking back on that day and thinking of what it was like? You? I know where we were. Do you know where you were? You little piece of shit. <laughs> You're with me. It was Cleveland Pride weekend. It was Cleveland Pride. Oh, oh and it rained. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. were together. It felt not weird, but like it was like a I can't believe I'm a part of this moment type mm -hmm. of thing. I was with my best friend in Toronto during Toronto Pride. We went to have brunch and then a report came through on our phones that, you know, marriage equality was passed. And it was one of those moments where it was just like, are you serious? Like, we are at Pride uh, in another country, but we were, we were at Pride celebrating who we are. And back at home, they finally allow us to, to do what we what some of us have always wanted, you know, like get married. That's just people just want to love people. What has wedding planning been like for you? <sighs> uh, this one's <laughs> taking the charge because I'm a terrible planner. <laughs> Our relationship works because <laughs> she tells me what she wants and I make it happen. Um, there you go. I am the doer. She is the dreamer. It is how we work. <laughs> We've been interesting a lot of things and we have lots of ideas of what we want but we haven't nailed anything down yet just because everything is so up in the air right now so she wanted to be really specific about like the dj and things like that and i was like very dead set on like a certain florist and colors, colors and we thank god both agreed on the venue we like both knew exactly what we wanted and we just were like Get, get it, it all done. done. What is your vision for your day? So even if you haven't necessarily nailed down those details, what would you say are you picturing in terms of colors or the vibe, anything like that? Like a Hollywood Regency feel. So a lot of jewel tones, art deco-y stuff. Mm -hmm. We kind want of it, like Rocketeer, Great Gatsby. We <laughs> want it to feel uh, very classy. Yeah, yeah. But we still want to have some Taco Bell at midnight. So. Uh, it's a range of blues. <laughs> Mostly navy blue, steel blue. Yes. We are um, getting married in the Museum of the City of New York. So mm. it's this like amazing marble museum with a staircase and like there'll be exhibits open. So it's classy, but then also like, we're gonna get down and party. Yeah. Someone better twerk in a cocktail dress. <laughs> we are getting married at this really pretty place called the Park Chateau in New Jersey. And it's like super, um, it's Parisian. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. It is the guy who create like who, built it, went to Paris for like inspo. So it literally looks like a chunk of Paris, which is plopped in. It's really, the inside is like super, super elegant. Do you have any advice for queer couples that might be planning a wedding or a celebration? Let it be your process. Don't rush for anybody else's expectations or rules because the beauty of our community is that we don't have to abide by anybody's rules because nobody's established anything. Yeah. It's your wedding day. Your yeah. wedding day. Yeah. Nobody else is not your friends, not your, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father. It is your wedding day. Yeah. You should be the one calling the shots. If you want to have a bird swoop in with a rainbow flag, go ahead and, and have that bird swoop in. Like, that, do do you. For me, it would just be like compromise. I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty laid back. So I, I didn't really like, there was no butting heads for hours, but it's easy to do that. I thought it was gonna be way more difficult to find um, LGBTQ plus vendors or people that did work with, um, you know, the queer community, but it was super, super easy. And I only wanted to work with people that I knew were publicly working with queer couples. Mm -hmm. um, so anybody that we hired or are working with as a vendor, like I wanted to make sure that they were not only just working with us for money, but working with us proudly. Right. What are you most looking forward to on your wedding day? The thing that I look forward to the most is just having all those different people from all walks of life, you know, coming together, not just in the celebration of us and kind of, you know, our relationship, mm -hmm. but just, I think that it shows a lot for how society has progressed. There are a lot of people I think that we're going to be inviting that 15 years ago, if they'd been invited to a gay wedding, probably wouldn't have shown up. But or now, would have even known what to expect. We want to be able to take photos and do all that before so that we can also be at our cocktail hour. I was going to say calling her my wife. That's crazy. And also just like, I don't know, seeing everyone there for us and like to celebrate our love. It's just going to be nuts. 
What other work would you like to see moving forward? Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done just as far as representation um, in general, being protected in the workplace. And I know that there are a lot of protections and mandates in place on paper, but socially and culturally, there's still a lot of prejudice um, that, you know, if they can't fire you for being gay at a certain job, they might make you feel uncomfortable enough uh, to where you just end up quitting anyway. While marriage has come a long way, the thing that's still lacking is uh, opportunities to adopt or have a surrogate child. Right now, you can have a gay couple like us who we have no history and all we want to do is give a child like a loving, happy home full of opportunity and joy. And you can have a straight couple who might have a record and they'll still get the baby over the gay couple who has no record at all just because of circumstance. I want people in entertainment to realize that just because you have one gay person in a show that doesn't mean you represent all of the LGBTQ community. Right. I feel like like what you said before also intersectionality is such a big part of it that I feel like so many people haven't learned about yet and like I said knowledge is power and that even if you are in the LGBT community and obviously if these hardships, there are certainly privileges you still have. That means I should be fighting louder because of that and, not, and that the buck doesn't stop with me. It's super, super important for LGBTQ plus history to be taught in schools mm -hmm. because that's one of the many reasons that I didn't know anything. And also it's so hard when you're hearing, you're not seeing yourself represented. Our history is just as important as so many right. others. Um, I think making, you know, trans rights as important as we make queer people's rights. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think it's just super important to remember that like, it's really easy for us. Like we are white straight passing queer people. Right. And that's a humongous privilege. I mean, yeah, we've gone through our own struggles, but that doesn't mean that I can walk down the street and something happens against me. Like there's exactly. still so much hatred out there. I want to thank you both for taking the time to sit with me and to be so vulnerable and so open and just such <laughs> rays of light. You're both such a joy to talk to. Oh. And I love hearing your story. Thank you for having us. Ah. I learned more about you that I didn't know, like like experiences and stuff you've had I didn't know about. You were literally with me when Gay Marriage Gally Glass has that the one thing you don't know? Uh, yeah. We're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. We can't wait to celebrate your big day loud and proud. Don't forget to like and subscribe for even more videos with me.